Hello YouTubers, uh, I bought this from B&M, 89 pence a packet and I don't think you can go wrong here. Uh, although I won't be sowing the strawberries, I'll be sowing the melon and another type of melon, cantaloupe and a kiwi fruit. And the strawberry won't go to waste because, as you can see, they're viable till 2018. And then you get this um, disc collection, uh, peppers. I won't sew any of them because I've got enough of them and I've got enough of them. But uh, let's see. So by 2019, so I'll keep them. So that's quite a bargain, uh, folks, if you want to go down to B&M. Okay. And here I am, YouTubers, planting up my cabbage. This is a Hispy F1 variety. The um, thing about cabbage is they don't like their roots, any brassica, don't like, don't like their roots disturbed. Um, but the way I do it is... I push from the bottom through the hole and they come out in one go so you're not disturbing the roots and um, also with brassicas they like a very firm soil so I push this so I compact it right down right down before I plant it and they'll be all right in here for about four to six weeks I think and then it'll be time to plant them in their final uh, spot. So, and next up for planting is the kohlrabi. Uh, I've only done a few of them because I don't know if I've, I've never I've never tasted them, so I don't know if I like them or not. But I might do a sowing later on. But it's the same uh, procedure with the kohlrabi. Um, exactly the same. Okay. Now folks, next up is peas. Uh, this year I'm growing uh, her screen shaft and uh, I'm on two pea called, I'd forgotten, uh, Oregon, Oregon Superpod. Um, now I'm going to be putting them in the peat pots but I'm also going to be putting some in the the things I made on my last video. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I was a bit lazy and I didn't fill the whole thing but what I did was I put some trays in to keep them compressed and hopefully they will be fine. Um, I'm not sure that I hold up too much hope for them but we'll, we'll give them a go. I mean it's an experiment. Okay and I'll show you them once they're I put it up, but you won't see much. Well, folks, I planted uh, some uh, her screen shaft in these little pots there and watered them well, and amazingly, they all stayed exactly the same. So, it's definitely pack them. That's the key to the, the whole experiment. So, we'll leave them, and uh, if they grow um, okay in the pots, I'll let you see later. Okay. And there we are folks, uh, that's um, the peas planted in the peat pots and um, they'll be fine in there until planting out time and then you just lift the pot and just put it in the hole, don't disturb any roots or anything. So, and uh, to plant them, well the rule of thumb is you plant a seed twice its, uh, its width, so with the peas I just poke them in to the first, um, the first knuckle on my finger, the first knuckle on my finger like that. Just poke them in like that. Okay, and then just cover them up. Okay, so that's all there is to that. One thing that I forgot to mention about the peas is that I will do successional sew-ins of them every three weeks or so, and then that will ensure that we have um, peas all summer. Uh, my next task is to repot this lobelia. It def definitely needs it now. They're, they're getting really big. 
so I'll be putting like a few few uh, seedlings in into these um, two two inch pots they should be fine in there and then the next place they'll go is once they fill the pot they'll go into my hanging baskets along with some other things that I've planted petunias lobelia um, what else well I've got trailing geraniums as well that I saved from last year so I'm taking cuttings of that um, yeah, and so there we are folks there's the lobelia we'll plant it up be enough for what I want it for it's just for the hanging baskets, so I think they're trailing lobelia. So. And now it's the turn of the cucumbers. Um, remember I said that I had, a, in my previous videos, I said I had a packet of seeds, market more, that were just useless. Well, I purchased some more market more, and they're fine. So I'm going to put those two up in that size pots, uh, being very careful not to disturb the roots too much because I know cucumbers don't like their roots disturbed. So, hello YouTubers. Uh, next up on the list is the kiwi fruit, cantaloupe melon, and honeydew melon. And what I'm going to do is, and I plant one seed of each, or maybe two seeds, in case one doesn't come up. Um, in these little peat pots and then when they're big enough I'll cut the peat pots round uh, round here and I will then just lift the whole thing and put it into the bigger peat pots so the roots will not be disturbed one little bit and by the time they get to coming through this peat pot I'll just plant it straight into where I want to want them to be permanently which will be big 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 pots um, and I'll show you once I've done There we are then. That's the melons and the kiwi fruit planted. And I'll put them under the grow lights. And melons uh, are a big seed so they will germinate and uh, grow out of these pots very soon. But like I say, I'll put them into the, the bigger peat pots as soon as they're ready. And there we are folks. This is the final sowing I'm doing today. Um, these are the seed discs and uh, it's the chilli peppers it's at Anaheim I think that's how you pronounce it, Anaheim and at Habanero and all you do is just put the soil over and it's all spaced out for you so you can't go wrong so thanks for staying with me uh, I hope I didn't bore you too much I tried to cut it back but I thought it'd be interesting for some people you know, the amateur ones well I'm amateur but you know, the ones that uh, are just starting out. So that's all for now folks. Bye.